Hey folks, Malforan here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're starting a new campaign in Tours and Tournaments in Crusader Kings 3. As you can see, we're going to be starting in Sardinia. I picked here because basically we can look at the new economy map mode. Uh, we actually start with a mine here. I thought it'd be pretty cool. They did add some changes with mines. They increased siege effectiveness. They also um, help with inspirations if they're smith based. So I thought we could get some cool artifacts as well. And uh, yeah. Basically, the aim of this campaign is just to show off really the new features in the uh, in the expansion and the free patch. Uh, try to do some tournaments, obviously, some tours, maybe get a legendary animal. Who knows? We're going to have a look. And then the long term kind of plan I've got for the series is uh, we're going to take all of Sardinia, hopefully. And then we're actually going to swear fealty to the emperor of the HRE. And then from within, I'm hoping to basically take over the HRE through a regency. Now I can't plan that because obviously we need to butter him up. We need to do some things to have a, even have a chance of becoming the region. And then obviously being the region, we've then got to try take over everything, which again is difficult as well. So um, that's going to be kind of the the like loose aim of the campaign. But basically this is just to show off the new features, have some fun with the new patch and uh, just see what we get up to. There are some achievements we're going to work towards. Some of the quite easy ones, to be honest. You know, just filling out like the the falconer uh, tree if we can do. And then there's also a few other like uh, finishing a track on the Hastilda tree. We're going to try and do that as well. And uh, we'll just see what else pops up. We'll have a look. We'll see what we get up to. And that's what we're going to be doing in this uh, in this short campaign. So anyway, this is us. Judaic Tor Torchilta. <laughs> Definitely how you pronounce his name. The third of Cagliari. Uh, this is our wife, uh, Judessa Vera. We've got a lot of children, actually. I didn't actually realize how many children he has. And uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna unify Sardinia. That's going to be our initial plan. And then we'll, like I say, we'll probably swear fealty then. And then we'll try and take over Corsica. And then we can head up. I don't know what our first king... Oh, yeah, Sardinia is our first kingdom title we can make. And then our first empire is Italia. But obviously, if we're part of the HRE, we won't be able to do that. But we'll see kind of what happens. It's Crusader Kings. Anything could happen. So... Uh, anyway, let's just check our... Uh, actually, no, let's do this first. Let's choose our lifestyle. So he, he is already learning focused, so we're going to go with that. That's fine. Uh, we go medicine, scholarship, or... Uh, you know, I think I'm going to do this because we do get a bonus of development from our mines, and then another 15% from this is, uh, you know, a lot of extra development. We might be able to make quite a tall playthrough. Sardinia is pretty well known for being quite a tall playthrough friendly place, so... And we're not going to focus on that, but, you know, it's a nice side effect. I'm not going to complain about it. Um, yeah, and anyway, let's see what uh, everyone else is doing. So our son here is already uh, married. Yeah, already married to uh, the beautiful Georgia de Lacan from the house Lacan. Um, so we don't have to worry about that. And then we'll have a look. Yeah, none of our other children are already married. So we'll just marry them off. I'm not too bothered about who they get married to. Uh, if I'm being honest, Bohemia, you know what, that'd be quite nice to be married into Bohemia. Let's do that. Uh, we're not going to do it as a grand wedding. <laughs> I don't even know. We haven't even got the money for it. So uh, we are not going to do that. So we'll marry him off. We'll marry this one off. And then for the rest, um, if you watched my full patch breakdown that I released, um, they did actually change it. So the AI actually will offer betrothals and marriages to the player, which, yep, yeah, that never happened before. Uh, that is going to start happening, so we might leave the other ones for now, just to see if that happens, and see kind of like who we get offered. I mean, look at this, we've got a uh, marriage into uh, Bavaria, so let's do that. And then to be honest, this third one, there was another one there as well. I think there was, um, where was it? Was it this one? Yeah, Normandy. We can marry into Normandy. Let's do it. Let's marry into Normandy. And then, like I say, this last, well, one actually, we only have one left. So we're going to leave him unmarried and we'll see kind of what happens. Um, see if somebody comes up to us and says like, hey, can we marry him or whatever? Have these all got uh, focuses? They do not. He is going to be diplomacy focused because he's already quite good at it. And you're gluttonous and brave. I mean, that just sounds like gluttonous and brave. Uh, yeah, martial focus. Why not? Why not? He likes celebrating his victories. And then we've got all the rest of the, you know, the little things we've got to do before we start actually playing. Uh, you're not employing a court physician. We need to fix that. All ours are not that good. Our wife, though, she will do. Let's be honest, she'll be fine. 
You can station men at arms. This is obviously one of the new mechanics where you station your men at arms in specific buildings, locations, and that, that gives them a buff. So let's focus them well, in, in here. I like this UI where it tells you the bonuses you'll get. So we'll station them in Cagliari. So they're going to get this bonus, basically, which is pretty decent. Oh, we only have one set of men at arms. We'll probably increase this, but not right now. Uh, you can create an accolade. So we can have one accolade um, for our knights, I guess. I mean, all our knights are pretty bad, but... Um, you have no knight that can be appointed. Oh, well, there you go. We don't even have an, an eligible knight. We could invite them, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. We'll figure that out later. Uh, children like guardians. Let's figure that out. Uh, you are uh, diplomacy focused. So let's go with you're really bad. Okay. Our wife, I guess, will teach him. You're focused on oh, diplomacy again. Well, I guess our wife's going to be teaching everyone. Because she's got the she's got the highest uh, well to be honest we have the higher learning we have twenty four learning which is quite ridiculous uh, so I suppose we could teach some of these um, to uh, to be better but um, what's he good at oh diplomacy again okay everyone's d diplomacy Do you know what, let we'll we'll uh, we'll be the uh, the ward of our one of our children and then we can see too few knights four and nine well we will fix that we're not gonna do the call to get some because it costs money and uh, prestige even uh, so we're not going to do that uh, we could hold a grand tournament well we can't we don't have enough money uh, I, don't, I don't know why it's, this is showing because I think they are yeah 400 gold we, we do not have 400 gold so uh, we won't be doing that but we will get notified when we can join tournaments somebody else might invite us to the tournament and then we can get to go to that so we'll keep an eye out uh, to see what happens I've got to remember where everything is now in the UI. So yeah, all these are now moved down here. So we'll turn these on so we get notified when we can hold them. Because we want to be doing those. We're going to get a, a lot of these up here. Now, to begin with, we're obviously going to declare war on somebody as soon as we can. Probably these chaps. We didn't have a valid... Do we have any cast of spell eyes? No. Okay, well, we'll have to fix that first. And in fact, we didn't even look at our court, so we probably should do that. I'm actually going to raise our uh, crown authority, because we can. Regent Presumptive is Constantinu de Lacon, who is selfless. Okay, well, we'll see if that's true, if he ends up being um, our regent at any point. He probably will do. Three? Jeez. <laughs> okay, I was going to get claims. I mean, I guess we're, gonna, we're not going to look out and get one on the... Well, I suppose the Dutch one wouldn't matter, because it's all separate anyway, but... This is terrible, as it says. Literally is terrible rating. Um, are you the best one we've got? Now you can go there. Oh, we, we're going to have to basically make do with what we've got, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, these, these guys are all bad. I mean, he's not too bad. 17, he's not too bad, I suppose. 13. I uh, will have him set on increasing our night, night effectiveness. You're going to increase our development, because again... We want to basically supercharge our development here and try to get it growing as quick as we can. Uh, you might as well be on foreign affairs because everyone generally likes us anyway. And then she can just do what, whatever she fancies. And let's unpause because we basically got to wait for this claim to happen. We've got an alliance with Duke Otto. We've got an alliance with Bohemia. And an alliance with Normandy. So we've got some nice alliances to begin with. Way better alliances than I thought we would have, but there you go. Uh, one thing we will be doing as well is... Our house legacy, we're obviously going to go down the new one, down activities, give some really good buffs. Uh, grand weddings are 50% cheaper, that's pretty insane to be honest. And then some uh, trade experience for pilgrim and traveler. Uh, a buff you get for doing grand tours or, um, well, the different kinds of grand tours. And then more buffs for experience for reveler and hunter. And then field of the cloth of gold, you gain 50% more hastilda traits. And you get to invite knights for free during a, a tournament and stuff like that. So uh, we're going to finish that one first. And then we'll decide what to do with the other one if we get to that point. But for now, we'll let time pass. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we could do a hunt or something like that, couldn't we? So let... Oh, actually, there's somebody there. Designate a guardian now for him. Didn't we already do this? I guess we didn't. I thought we did, though. Yeah, you, you'll do. <laughs> You'll do. Uh, right, so what should we go on? We've got 123 gold. Kind of feel like doing a pilgrimage. I mean, it's going to be expensive. 
Joe, let's do one of the one of the easier ones first. Although we do get the pilgrim buff if we do the pilgrimage. Should we do this? Let's start as we mean to go on. Let's do a pilgrimage. We'll do a pious one. We're going to play quite pious character, I think. Well, actually, no. Do you know what? Let's, uh, yeah, let's exit this. What are our traits? So if you're the first time you've ever watched one of my series, I always kind of semi-role play. I always take the characters as they are. I never respect them. And we try and play as that character would do in the game. So uh, he's brave, chaste. Well, I mean, chaste, he's got six kids, but sure. And gregarious, so he likes a, li likes a bit of a party as well. So um, he's chaste, but he likes a good time, and he's brave. So, okay, yeah, a, a pilgrimage is fine. If he was, like, a cynical or something like that, we, we wouldn't do a pilgrimage, but he, uh, he seems to like that kind of thing, so let's do it. And we'll do a pious one. We get to choose where to go, and again, the new, the new UI showing us the options. This will cost an additional 40, an additional 20... Additional 50, but this is dangerous as well, going all uh, as far as we can. We're just going to go to the Vatican. It's super close. It's It should hopefully be quite good for us. Oh, you actually get a major chance of danger from this sea. Who knows what lurks in the deep? Well, it sounds risky. I mean, we are on an island. It does make this slightly more expensive than it probably would be usually. Anyway, let's get a Caravan Master. Bibiana. You've got a cool name, so it's going to be you. And uh, can we get like a ship? Uh, yeah, hired ex higher experienced captains. That's going to basically negate this uh, this issue here. And the intent. So these are the new uh, intents for when you're doing a pilgrimage. So reflection. Relieve stress. Well, we don't have any stress. That's fine. It often leads to increased popular opinion and piety. Zealous, generous, and improvident characters lose stress or zealotry. Well, we're not a zealot, so I'm going to do altruism because we're not like a, a we're not zealous. So I think I'll save this one for if we ever play like a zealous character, then it kind of fits with that intent. I think we'll do this one. Reflection, we haven't got any stress. So there's no point in that one. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we do. Pilgrim level two. Uh, should we increase this? How much does it cost? Oh, we can't. <laughs> we can't change this. We don't have the right requirements, but we do for... Um, for this one so we can ceremonial throng how many people do we want to bring i think we'll just bring the appropriate amount i don't think it's worth spending the extra money oh this is only going to cost us 60 gold oh okay um yeah let's do it melissa will be recruited to the travel entourage nice that's cool yeah, she gets a nice little pop out there. So yeah, we'll we'll be going on this little journey, We're just going over the water to uh, to Rome itself. All the while preparing for my journey, I have had the sense of serenity and knowing that everything will be all right. I'm pleased to embark on this pilgrimage to Roma in order to get even closer to God. And now more than ever, I feel certain He will watch over me on my travels. I mean, we'll 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 see about that, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll see. She's 64. Well, hopefully she doesn't die on the on the trip. And there we go. There we are. We're on a boat. We're going to just sail quickly over to Rome. Obviously, later on, once we've got a lot more money, we'll head down, you know, to Jerusalem or something. But uh, for now, we're just going to do this quick one. There we go. All roads lead to Rome. Pilgrims flock to Rome from all over the Christian world. Some follow via Frankengenia. Definitely, definitely how, uh, how that's pronounced. I think that's like the... The one like main road to Rome that most people from Europe took. I'll just take less well-known paths. Well, yeah, we went on a boat. In the end, we all converge here in St. Peter's Basilica, where the great man himself was put to rest. So yeah, I've walked the whole that's it, we've done it. <laughs> we've done the travel part anyway. Now we're on the second bit. As I enter the sacred grounds, I find uh Giletu staring at the altar with an absent expression. I call after him. My lord, he says unfazed. I have something to ask for you. I hope you can forgive me. This place has moved my soul and agitated my spirit in a way I thought inconceivable. God has spoken to me and his voice is clear, severe, precise. I am. I, it keeps going and going and going. The only sound I can hear now, the whole world has gone quiet. If I could stay behind, I would... Yes. Yes. He's terrible. He's got like three learning. Yeah, I under yeah, yeah, I understand this. Yeah, become a monk. Definitely do that. Definitely do that. Or we can say, uh, we have churches back home. We're not gonna do that. Or we can say no, and he becomes our rival. I mean, look, guys, for the good of the realm, I'm gonna let him do it. It it pains my heart so much to be broken from such an amazing bishop. But you know, we're a, we're a holy man. 
we're gonna have to let him do it you know what a shame basically <laughs> what a big shame that happened oh we uh, you afforded charity to the poor vaticano really yeah the vatican well known for being poor <laughs> The Pilgrim's Guide. The markets of the Vatican are bustling with merchants shouting in languages I've never heard and selling spices that I've never tasted. The Guide of the Pilgrim. Learn the safest routes. Discover the marvels of the Vatican. One of them yells, waving a small book in my direction. <laughs> They're like, here's a little guidebook. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, we get travel safety 30%. I mean, no, I'm going to say God will guide me. We become more pious and we gain 50 piety. So let's do that. And then we're going to carry on going through this. Nothing else is really happening in the world, so we can just keep keep this UI open for now. Uh, we level, we actually leveled up our level of devotion. That's pretty good. You organize religious procession. You gain 50 piety. You seem to gain a lot of um, kind of uh, piety and gold and stuff from these events. Um, I like it so far. As we listen to the morning prayers, Bishop Anatonio, Anatonito, Anatonio, definitely one of those pronunciations and i have a lively discussion that quickly diverts into theological matters it would be foolish to say that having been made of flesh means that christ inexplic inexplicably and incomprehensibly became man from the word having united together hypnostatically i'm i'm not enjoying reading these i'm gonna be honest with you <laughs> but as nestorius himself said christ the man could also be made divine some by grace but not by nature i will not listen to this blasphemous nonsense oh is he trying to uh you know tell us some uh some some bad things we're not interested in that yeah we can say um oh no this blasphemous nonsense now we are gregarious so although we are trying to play like kind of holy kind of you know a, a little bit pious this goes against our gregarious nature because we're like, yeah, but we're all in this together. So we're going to have to say, well said, friend. Let's go for a walk now. We're going to become his friend. There we go. One of the bishops, bishops in the papacy, is now our friend. I suppose that's a good thing. As our time at the sacred site draws to an end, I feel reassured that while I may not have had the most pious pilgrim out there, I may not be the, my, the most pious pilgrim out there. I have proven my dedication to the Lord in more ways than one. This being my first pilgrimage, and while no pilgrimage is exactly alike, I feel confident that I am more familiar with what to expect from this type of spiritual journey in the future. And we succeeded in our intent, so we're going to gain another 350 piety. So yeah, that's a lot of piety we've gained from doing this. And 10 trade experience in the pilgrim trade. And then, oh, that's because we have armed pilgrimages tenant for being Catholic. And you gain the determined pilgrim for 10 years, which I think... Uh, yeah, it gives us more piety per night, which is pretty nice. Cool. Let's do that. And then we just get a round up here. So we gained the pilgrim tray, obviously. We gained 350 presti uh, piety. And then we gained the, the, the things we just got told about. And I guess everyone else here kind of got some as well for coming on the journey. If we all make it back, obviously. So let's see if we do. Oh, we can add our ask our head of faith for claim. Wait, what? We get a claim on the kingdom of Leon? <laughs> I mean, we could do. It's a little bit out of our zone of control, but uh, we can get one on the Republic of Pisa, though. That's a little bit closer. Where is Pisa? Isn't Pisa down here? No, it's up here, just on the coast, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we could, in theory, get a claim on Pisa and take it from the Serene Doge. I guess he's a bad man. Yes, he is. He's a very bad man, and the Pope doesn't like that. Uh, we're not going to do that. None of them kind of make sense for us, so... If we'd already taken all of this, we probably would do Pisa, because it would be a nice jump there, but I kind of want to unify Sardinia first. Travel, a jewel demanded. An imposing woman is standing on the road ahead of us. Oh, we did just land. Okay, I thought we were still on the, sh on the boat. I am Rangfrid of Arboria, and I've bested dozens of men in combat, and honestly, all those fights were dull. So here I am, on this road, looking for someone better than me. Someone I can learn from. If you can best me in combat, I will become a valuable and loyal servant. And so on this day, I demand to meet one of you in a fair fight. We've got 15 prowess. She's got 11 prowess. So I feel like we might do this. I have no interest in fighting you or a fair fight. So we won't say this because we're brave. I, oh yeah, true, we are a brave character. So yeah, we'll do this. We could make Melissa do it, <laughs> which seems harsh. 
we could make Melissa do it. Poor Melissa, we'd be like, hey, you fight her. But no, you might be less valuable after I win. In other words, hey, we might just like chop you down or something. But uh, let's see how we do. The return. I did, Wait, did we win this? Or, well, who knows? We'll find out in a second, I suppose. And there we go, we're back home. Regency ended. She gained some, uh, the regent gained some prestige. Yeah, I guess we didn't um, do that fight or she just, or we won she just joined us. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, we're not going to do these, like I say. They're, they're a little bit out of where we are. We've got 71 gold. We could do another pilgrimage immediately. Wait, isn't there a cooldown? Um, okay, what? Didn't there used to be a, a cooldown on pilgrimages? Like, there'd be like 10 years? Or do we have none because of like this? Mm -hmm. Nope. No. Communion, maybe? No. Okay. Um, sure then. Well, fair enough. I guess we can just do more and more pilgrimages. I could have sworn there was a cooldown on this before. Maybe there wasn't. I'm just imagining it, but I'm, I'm sure there was like a five or ten years. Uh, anyway, we've got a little bit of gold, so let's do a hunt. Well, we'll see how this goes. Uh, hunt or falconry? I kind of want to do falconry. Yeah, let's do falconry, because I one of the achievements is to max out the falconry uh, tree. So I think we'll try and do that. So, I mean, I guess these are all as good as each other. Hills, bonus for hills, bonus for no holding. I guess the lighter the colour, the better. Yeah, must be. Oh, wait, no, it's going to cost us 91 gold. We don't have enough. Oh, no, we don't need sea captains. <laughs> we don't need sea captains to do a hunt, do we? No, the answer. Um... And we can probably... No, actually, these are already... Like, okay, we need 86 gold to do this, so we won't do it. We'll wait a little bit longer. We we want this claim to happen. Oh, we do have the new bishop. Okay, he's rated 6, so he's twice as good as the last guy. He's not good, but he is twice as good as the, the previous dude. So, I mean, I guess we'll be happy with that. Can't really complain too much. How many troops do you have? 500? No alliances. We'll definitely attack him as soon as we get this claim. Actually, we'll need the gold to get that claim, so let's not spend any more gold. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's um, keep that money for that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to this war as soon as we can. We'll speed up time, because we're basically just waiting for this to happen. Hedru, come, look at this armor. Shows our coat of arms. Looks awesome. And there you go, he, he's come of age. He's now 16. He is still betrothed to uh, Bohem this Bohemian princess, basically. He's not too bad. Forgiving, ambitious. He's not our uh, heir. Actually, what is our heir? He is humble, lazy, and callous. Oh, that, I'm not looking forward to that. Can he die and the other guy take over? <laughs> the other guy seems so much better. So much better. Uh, one thing I've noticed, actually. There's going to be some things I'm going to call out like whilst we're playing through. Things I've noticed from the expansion and things. Um, actually, we can't tell here because he's not on, uh, he's not traveling. But as you can see now, you now get told where the head uh, liege of any area is. I guess he's on, is he somewhere else? I think he must be somewhere else. No, he is here. Oh, he's probably too far away, so we, we don't get told uh, where he is exactly. But as you can see for here, we can see uh, the Kaisers here. If he was traveling, we'd see where he is on the map. So it's kind of cool how it kind of brings the the map alive a little bit more and uh you know shows things off pretty nicely but yeah we'll increase speed because like i said we're just waiting for this to finish and then we'll see how much gold it is it's probably gonna be around 70 gold i would think uh but we'll see anyway a sacred text as i'm out for a stroll around the market a merchant calls me over insisting he has something that will pique my interest the scent of dying herbs and foreign tinctures Overwhelms my senses as I approach the stall. He is rifling through his collection of dusty tombs and other treasures. After some digging, the merchant produces an old book and insists I, I need it for what is to come. I mean, that doesn't sound uh, ominous. I, I don't like our colour clash here. <laughs> I guess our robes are based on our on our house. Wait, why do why is one of our sons from a different house? We're gonna have to look into that in a second. Just realise that. Uh, anyway. Do you want to pay 50 gold? No, we need the money. So I'm going to just say, uh, yeah, I have no need for your books because I need, uh, need to keep the money. Yeah, we are of the house Ganali. You're from a different one. Why? You're from Ni... Oh, wait, no. 
Why why are all these from a different house? Only off wait. Wait, why <laughs> Why are none of our sons from our Oh it's because it's like a combined house, I guess. Lacan Ganal. Oh, it's like both our houses together. I'm guessing that's why. Yeah, we're Gunal, she's Lacan, and then our kids are from Lacan Gunal. So I guess that's why. I guess that's why. I've never noticed that before. It might be part of the expansion, I suppose, but uh, do leave a comment down below if I'm just missing something super obvious, but uh, it threw me off for a second, but we didn't get the warning saying our heir isn't of our, like, house or dynasty, so I guess it's fine. Um, anyway, we have finished this, so let's go. I mean, I, I guess we've got to go theologian. We are kind of trying to play kind of holy. We're not going to go super, though, so is it worth doing this? Sure, I think it is. Cultural fascination, increased development. Oh, actually, no, that would be rather helpful for us. No, Joe, sure, let's do this. Let's do Scholar. Let's do Scholar. We get Scientific, Cultural Fascination. This is actually really good for us because our culture is uh, bad for that. We are isol isolation isolationists, which is minus 35% cultural acceptance. So this negates some of that negativity. There we go. We got the, uh, we got the claim. We build up a little bit of money and then we'll declare war on him. And uh, hopefully we can win this pretty easily. What we might do is later on... Um, we might reform Sardinian to get rid of Isolationists. We're going to see how we play. If we do end up just staying on Sardinia, we'll, we'll keep it because it makes sense thematically. But if we start, you know, getting involved with the Empire, if we get into the Empire and then start getting involved with the, um, you know, Cord and things like that, we might change it and say, look, during time we've learned to not be so Isolationist. We're kind of like trying to expand into the world and we might reform it because it's not super good for us, to be honest. But we'll see. Anyway, we've got 15 gold. I think that's enough to declare war on him. Your claims. And then we can finish off today's episode by basically, well, hopefully, uh, winning this war. I suppose we should have checked how much money he had. 52 gold. Okay, he's not going to get any... Um... Should we lead the army as well? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's risk it. <laughs> we are brave, after all. So... You know, we would lead the army ourselves, I think. Again, leaning into our uh, personality. And there we go, we won that. Oh, we have... Wait, oh no, we have no siege equipment, do we? That's a good point. How much is it for... Onagers? No, Mangonels. 66. Okay, we need to get those. Because this is going to take forever. Well, 60 months. That's actually less than I thought it would take. And we've had some nice events that sped it on, and he's going to come and attack us again, which is a mistake. Six months left. Our, our caravan master died. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, wait, not enough soldiers? Oh, what are you... What are you doing? Okay, well, we're going to have to come down here and replenish our troops. Which is unfortunate. So we probably need to wait this to almost fully replenish. Another one of our sons of coming age. Look how cool these armors look. I know they'd added a lot of armor in the uh, in the expansion, the free patch. This, look, this armor looks amazing. I, I love it. But yeah, we'll have to let these replenish up to about 800 and then we'll try again. Got another commander. So we got another knight. So that should help us quite a bit. We've got an available perk. We do planned cultivation. Increased development in county. 20% increase, so like I say, we should really start see Cagliari um, really start upping its development. I mean, it's already on development 10, so it's not too bad, but I think we can increase it quite a bit more relatively quickly with some of these uh, stacking bonuses. And there we go, we won this. Oh wait, does the, does the siege reset? Oh, it does. <laughs> the siege does reset. Anyway, we got our dynasty legacy. We got everything going on at the moment. And like I said, we're going to go down activities just because, you know, it is our first campaign in the uh, DLC. So we're going to try it out. It might not fit perfectly with what we're trying to do, but I, I think it's a cool one to go down. And it, as I said, it does make Grand Weddings 50% cheaper. Grand Weddings gain 15 points of bonus acceptance and increases the chance to generate a temporary strong hook on lieges who like you at Grand Weddings. That's actually pretty good. We could try get like a strong hook on the Kaiser and things like that. So 
Actually, this is going to be pretty good thematically for the campaign. So actually, better than I thought. Our Spymaster died or otherwise was uh, removed. Wait, let's move you. Constantine, where are you? You're terrible, but we've got somebody who's really good for this one, who is a powerful vassal as well. You're terrible. We'll fix this um, in a second. I kind of want to get this war over and done with, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to because I think our guys here are going to take too much attrition. We're only just over there, 720. And we've got 14 months to last. So if we lose 20 more men, we won't be able to do this. <laughs> we'll have to do it again. Oh, wait. Do you know what? We could just call in one of our allies. I know it's not great. Oh, William... Okay, William won the war, so he's king of England. He's got 9,000 troops. We don't want to be spending that much. Um, how much is this? 150 prestige. This is a lot, but it's kind of... Joy. I think it's worth it. He'll come and help us. Um, the problem is we just, we're just we not going to have enough troops because we don't have siege equipment to siege this down before we go below the required amount of troops. Um... 720 so yeah especially as we're gonna lose some here i think we've now gone under the limit we have so yeah we'll have to wait for bohemia to come and help us they're gonna send 3,000 men so that's not gonna be too long and then we'll win this super easily it did cost us a lot of prestige but once we win this obviously we'll basically almost double our troop numbers so the next ones will be easier and easier but on that note we're gonna leave it there for today i'm gonna keep the episodes around about half an hour at a time so they don't drag on too much. Um, but as always, if you've enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. Helps other people find the series and the channel in the future. And if you are new here, I cover Crusader Kings mostly on the channel. I cover Dev Diaries news, um, little guides and things like that. So if you enjoy that kind of thing, hit subscribe. I do also play other historical titles as well. So there's a bit for everyone on the, uh, on the channel most of the time. But we'll leave it there for today. And I'll see you in the next one.